and thank you for coming. Um, throughout my uh, time as governor and during my last campaign, I have tried to be completely transparent with the people of Ohio about my income, how much I have made, and where it has come from. It is pretty simple to me. If you're running to be the top elected representatives for the state and for the people of Ohio, they deserve to know whether any past or present sources of income provide a conflict of interest with the position you seek. During my 2006 campaign for governor, I released six previous years of tax returns dating back to the year 2000. My opponent in that race refused to do the same. Today, I am releasing the three tax returns that I have filed since 2006. As a result, the people of Ohio and members of the media will now have full access to 10 years of my tax returns. Unfortunately, my opponent, Congressman Casey, has refused to do the same. Despite frequently touting his work on Wall Street and with Lehman Brothers, Congressman Casey refuses to tell the people of Ohio what companies he represented, what deals he was involved in, and how much he profited from his time at Lehman. And while Congressman Casey has touted a reckless and radical tax plan that would give massive tax breaks to the wealthiest of Iowans, at the expense, I might say, of our schools, our libraries, our law enforcement agencies. He has refused to tell Ohioans what tax breaks he would receive under his plan. Now, there has been no higher honor in my life than getting to serve the people of Ohio as their governor. And there has been no greater responsibility in my life than working every day to make Ohio a better place and to lead our state through these terribly challenging economic times. Given both the great honor and the great responsibility that comes with being the governor of Ohio, I believe that it is incumbent upon all candidates to be fully transparent with the people of Ohio, especially on matters of income. That is why I am calling upon Congressman Casey to join me in honoring my commitment to voters and to fully release the last 10 years of his tax returns. I believe that anything less would do a disservice to the people of Ohio and raise legitimate and serious questions about Congressman Casey's business transactions over the past 10 years. Uh, six years, uh, uh, I would accept that, certainly. Um, but uh, I chose 10 years because I think that is uh, a full decade. It uh, covers uh, a significant period uh, of my uh, congressional experience as well as the time that I've been governor. Um, but if Congressman Casey were to choose to release six years of his tax returns, I would, uh, I would tell him that I um, would find that acceptable and uh, would appreciate his doing so. Why focus on tax returns? What, what do you think is out there? What have you revealed that you think is not being honest? Well, uh, we don't know what may be out there. And that's the reason that I think they should be uh, released. Uh, other candidates and other governors have released their tax returns in the past in both political parties. And uh, given the fact that uh, Congressman Casey did, in fact, work for Lehman Brothers, uh, and he has touted that work, um, Lehman Brothers, on September the 15th, 2008, went bankrupt. Uh, and it was the largest bankruptcy in American history, and the fact that uh, he wants to be the governor. And um, while Lehman Brothers was uh, was declining and eventually going bankrupt, um, Ohio Pension Systems 
lost uh, about $480 million with Lehman Brothers um, investments. Um, and uh, in the year that they went bankrupt, Mr. Casey received uh, over a half a million dollars in compensation from Lehman Brothers, including over $400,000 uh, as a bonus. And so I think it's appropriate for me and for the people of Ohio to know during that time when Lehman Brothers was making these terrible decisions, which eventually led to really catastrophic conditions for individuals and for uh, so many people, uh, we need to know what kind of compensation he received. Uh, I would like to know what, what deals he worked on. And I think if he or to make this information available to us, uh, it, would, it would give us a, a more complete picture of this person who would choose to be Ohio's next governor. Governor Strickland, in yes. sort of a preemptory uh, strike, his campaign said that this is uh, an effort to engender class warfare by taking a stance like this. Is that what you're trying to do, to turn people against Congressman Kasich or former Congressman Kasich? No, what I'm trying to do, Bill, is to make sure that as the people of Ohio choose between two candidates who are seeking the governor's office, that they have full and complete information regarding uh, the, the income of those individuals, where it came from, and so that they can have accurate information. Uh, all I'm asking for is, is uh, information that he will have filed um, declaring his, his income and his uh, level of taxation. And uh, I think that's information that the people of Ohio uh, need to know. Mr. Casey talks a lot about um, his, uh, his economic um, expertise and um, he has proposed some plans as I said earlier that I think are rather uh, outside the mainstream and I would even call reckless and radical uh, and um, so I think we need to know from whence he has received his his income uh, in what amounts and <coughs> especially so when it comes to layman brothers I think it's impossible to separate uh, Lehman Brothers and the culture of Wall Street from, um, from Mr. Casey. Uh, and he can't have it both ways. He can't say on the one hand that I was uh, you know, a bit player um, at a Columbus office uh, with, with two or three people and at the same time uh, tout his um, business experience with Lehman uh, and justify uh, having received a bonus of over $400,000 in 2008. Uh, I think the people of Ohio have a right to know what level of bonus he received uh, in previous years as Lehman was engaged in these uh, reprehensible financial shenanigans that led to so much pain.